Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain when you should not buy an electric lawnmower. Now, if you watch the channel, you know I'm a big proponent of electric lawnmowers. I've had this Ryobi 20-inch uh, uh, 40 volt uh, lawnmower for six years. I've got a review of it uh, of it up uh, posted uh, every year, going over what damage has occurred, how it's lasting, blah blah blah. And I love the thing. However, I am in Alberta, and Alberta is dry. So let's go over a couple of reasons why you might want to not get an electric lawnmower. The first thing is wet. If you live in a very wet region, an electric lawnmower is probably not the best because they're just not as powerful as gas lawnmowers. Now, uh, you can see that my Ryobi 40 inch or 20 inch 40 volt right there, uh, I'm banging through this, but you'll also notice I don't have the bagger on it. I've taken the bagger off. Why is that? Well, because I was away last week, couldn't cut the grass and it uh, built up and then it rained all damn week. So the grass right now is quite wet, and if I put the bagger on it, that battery is just not going to last very long. Also, it's just not, you know, super powerful. So for Alberta, I love the thing. Uh, this is crazy weird that we've had this much rain, and uh, it rained last night, and you think, well, just wait till it dries a bit. I can't. It's going to rain again this afternoon, and I think as you can see, there's just not a lot of tolerance left. I gotta cut this, it's getting pretty shaggy. <laughs> so the first uh, place you might not want to uh, use an electric lawnmower is if you're in a very wet region that uh, needs it constantly. Uh, the second thing uh, is if you're bagging your cuttings uh, instead of mulching like I do most of the time, an electric lawnmower, not the best. Uh, it works fine when it's dry here, I bag probably every second time but i don't bag when it's wet and i don't bag when it's really shaggy like this but some people are offended by these cuttings uh i'm not i kind of like them actually they leave nice lines you might ask why uh i'm bringing this up in the middle of cutting my lawn well that's because i just changed my battery right there uh because i have two batteries because i have a whole pile of ryobi products and by the way that gets to a good point this is completely unsponsored uh, Ryobi hasn't given us anything. Uh, Home Depot, which is where I sourced the products from, hasn't given us anything. This is a completely honest uh, review. So while if you look at our previous reviews, you'll see that the Ryobi lawnmowers and the rest of the tools are just excellent. They just work. And uh, we're still using one of our original batteries. You'll also know that, um, uh, yeah, I did just swap it out. And that's because I just couldn't get through. This quarter acre lawn is, yeah, it's about a quarter acre and I've got it through about half of it and uh, that's not good enough. So keep in mind that those points about why you shouldn't buy an electric lawnmower are really related to people that have large lawns like me. And uh, if you've just got a small lawn, you're in the inner city or something, ignore all of that and just buy one because they're so much better than a gas mower. They're lighter, you don't need to mix anything, they never need maintenance, they're just better products. However, uh, regardless, if you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate it if you gave us the big thumbs up. It helps with the Google algorithms. Also, if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.